Alright, welcome back guys to another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle video. It's your boy Invective. Invective is the name, Dokkan is the game. Today we're going to go ahead and show you how you can level up your links really fast. Let's not cut into any of this waffle or anything. I'm going to show you the two stages. Pay attention right now, yeah? There's two stages, two areas. Area 23 and Area 24. You guys are going to have to get the quests done up to these stages. These are to level up your links. So we're going to jump into area 23 then area 24. Both of these stages are very good for not just leveling up your links but getting the actual incredible gems if you need them. If you need incredible gems, you can get them from these stages. Times 4 XP is active right now so it's excellent time to be leveling up links. Don't be leveling up links or doing this unless there's not 4 times XP. So use this time to do the stages. So 23, 8. Okay, there's a bunch of fights in this actual uh, stage itself. 23-8 guys, yeah, 23-8. Area 23, stage 8, the final stage. Yes, do it on Super 23, the hardest difficulty, and pick your favorite team, whatever team you want to get your characters leveled up on. I'm doing my Vegitos first, so I'm going to show you guys my team. This is my team here. Putara team, I'm leveling up the Keflers and the Vegitos because they're my favorites. Okay, let's, so let's jump in. 23-8 is going to basically have... A couple of different paths for us to take and a bunch of fights there's a bunch of cybermen kind of placed all over the place here what you want to do is you want to fight as many cybermen as possible so don't worry about the incredible gem stuff if you're farming for links you're going for as many cybermen as possible and you want to go all the way around the map itself so we're going to do the full fight itself and also since i'm using vegetos they just do counter attacks and finish the fights really quick so i'm just going to be hitting characters that we need to hit there we go so yeah, um, obviously I didn't want to be taking my time and uh, waffling on like all these other YouTubers, man. We want to get straight into the point here, the meat and potatoes of the video. Now, let me guys, uh, let me tell you guys something. Do not expect this to be quick. Just to level up your characters to level five takes some time. Then to level them up from five onwards, you need a lot of XP, right? And you do a lot of fights. Now, doing the Raditz event does not work the reason why the raditz event doesn't work is because you get very low xp yield these events here stage 23 they will give us a good amount of xp so each of the fights in between count towards that big xp that we're going to get it's going it counts towards a big chunk because the game registers this as a high xp event so you might get levels up or you might not now my characters are pretty much all near level 5 link uh, except for Vegito. <laughs> there we go. So we've got Power Bestowed by God, which is a massive link that's going to give 5% increase in attack and defense when he launches a super attack. That's a very good link. So yeah, the main thing is I want to go around and fight as many of these Cybermen as possible. And hey, if you can grab some of these rainbow things here, those will help as well. So I'm seeing four different fights over here. I'm not seeing many fights here. So we're going to go up this way. Uh, yeah, we're going to go up and around. So we're going to fight those Cybermen up here. So you just want to take the path that takes you around the Cybermen. Obviously, if you need to collect uh, incredible gems, try and get those along the way as well. So uh, let's get this strength one out of the way here. And yeah, I'm bringing the Vegitos because not only they're fast to level up, but doing these story events is very easy to do because Vegitos just do a bunch of counter attacks. You don't have to waste like three or four turns that this guy's just doing. Can't uh, boom, get out of here. What? What's that? You dirty little cyberman. Boom! Move! There we go! And obviously, yeah, there we go. And yeah, my Vegito's uh, leveled up his links. A good amount. Good amount. I've got most of them up to level 5. Any links here? Oh, yes. Power bestowed by God on this Vegito. Excellent. So they're getting up to stage uh, four, level 4 now. So yeah, this is a great stage. Um, if you want to go ahead and knock out these Cybermen, uh, let's beat this strength one up since he's not attacking. But yeah, uh, also I'm doing my Supreme Kai of Time. She's getting leveled up as well. And I'm sipping my tea. Come on, come on. Mm. But yeah, good luck to you guys doing these stages and everything. Obviously, it takes time. For you to actually level up all of these and everything it takes a fair amount of time but hey the main thing is letting you guys know what stages i do 
to get my links leveled up. And if you find someone that's talking a bag of wass, saying that, oh no, better stage, tell him, yo, listen, Invective told you, shut up. Only I know the stages, yeah? You're trying to get smart on me, boy. <laughs> But yeah, as always, I'm keeping you guys up to date with the best stages, best ways to farm all of these events and everything and get your characters maxed out. Now, a lot of you guys have been asking, do link levels actually matter in the explosive chain battle? No, they don't. Um, explosive chain battle only counts what characters link up best with each other, what teams they're on, what categories they're on, and how many characters fit on the same roster. See what I mean? So it's, it's, a, it's a good question, it's a good question, not gonna lie, good question, but unfortunately it is what it is. Alright, come on man, let's get one now. Nah. Alright, so yeah, and then the final fight is against Turles. So yeah, this is stage 23, area 23, fight level 8, yeah, and the 8th eighth, eighth stage on the 23rd area. Uh, yeah, we'll just give Geo all of these. It doesn't matter who attacks, your characters don't need to be in their transformed state for them to get their uh, actual link levels up. Uh, they don't need to be transformed or anything. So for the Kefla and the Geo, they don't need to be Super Saiyan Kefla or anything. The game will just level up their links just based on the XP that you get. And it's all random. Look, Super Saiyan 2 Kefla, Shattering Limit goes to level 5. And that's it. So. Uh, I've got a lot of my characters up to level 5 here, a lot of their links are level 5, so, you know, this is a good stage to do, the more Cybermen you get, the more fights you get, now this stage is specifically good if you want to be farming up your links, right, but let me show you guys the stage that I use to do links and to get my actual incredible gems, now I, I've always done this, area 24, ambitious androids, yeah, stage number seven, the ultimate android. This is my personal favorite one. So if you guys want to do my personal favorite one, yeah, go ahead and do it. Because this this one's my favorite because it gives you not only gems, but you're guaranteed to get gems. There's three different paths that you can take. And let me just tell you guys immediately right now, yeah. The path in the middle will almost certainly, the path in the middle always has either launch or peel off. Yeah, you have a good chance of getting launch or peel off in the path in the middle. On the path over here, on the right, yeah, on the right, uh, this is if you're looking from Kefla's direction to the right. Yeah, to the right, you've got these um, minions. And then the path over here to the left actually has the little, you know, those little incredible gems. So it's up to you guys how you want to take the path. And obviously, take as many fights along the way as you can. So yeah, uh, these are my personal favorite stages. I'm go like this. Go like this. Go like this. Excellent. So yeah, the main thing is just do as many fights as possible. Uh, each fight will give you a decent amount of chance of getting uh, the XP boost that you need to level up the links. The links are all randomly leveling up. But as long as the game registers that you've got a decent amount of XP, then you can get those links leveled up. Any links here? Oh yeah, we do. Uh, okay, Super Saiyan 2 Kefla, look, level 4 to 5, or is the universe 6? So I haven't been grinding too much, but I've been grinding enough to know that, you know, we get my stuff done. So oh, let's get let's get this little peel off. You little scumbag, come here. You sort him out. He's a little thief he is, man. He's been taking all my incredible gems. A little thief. A little thief he is. Let me sort him out right now. And yeah, it's up to you guys what characters you want to level up first. You can do whatever characters are your favorites. Uh, I'm I'm personally just picking all the Vegetos and stuff because they're the strongest characters in the game because they get a lot of damage through their critical hits and their counters. You know what I mean? So they're the best with her. I mean, see, the little Fifi is man. Yeah, ten of my incredible gems there. I'll be snatching out of your hands. So power bestowed by God leveled up. Yeah, absolutely amazing. Got that up to level five now. And yeah, just gonna truck along to the final stage and beat up Super Seventeen. So he gives a good amount of XP. He gives a good amount of XP. Very excellent amount. Okay, okay. Geo, do this. You do this, whatever. So yeah, that should be that all done. 
So yeah, these two stages are your best two stages that you can do. There's no other stages that you can do that are better. Uh, the only other event that you can do is the B-Pan event. That'll guarantee you guys to get a good amount of XP. Obviously, the B-Pan event is only a one-time thing in the week. So yeah, there you go. Unfortunately, sometimes the game's quite stubborn and it doesn't want to give links. But those are the best two stages to farm out your link levels. Getting from level 1 to 5 is going to be easy. And from 5 onwards, it's going to be quite hard. It's going to take you multiple stamina levels to get your characters leveled up. But just keep using your characters, keep doing the grind. You can grab some incredible gems along the way, which will help you grab extra stuff. And uh, also, let me just quickly notify you guys. So if we go to an event, at any time, any time you can do this specific growth event here. Any time you can do her on the stage 100 event. Any time you can do this, do it. But do it with your characters that are on the highest link levels. That will get you a few link levels up as well. So good luck to you guys doing this actual uh, event and everything. Good luck to you guys doing your characters. Yeah, let me show you guys my characters. Uh, we'll go to Patara. Show you guys exactly what's going on. Yeah. Let me show you guys real quick. So I've been working on my AGL Vegito, as you can see. And I've got look, a bunch of his links to level 6, a bunch of them to level 5, some of them at level 4. So, you know, I've been doing a little bit of grinding. I've been doing too much. So I'm going to start doubling down. Let's see my Vegito. So you've got a bunch of his links to level 5 and 4. So they're getting up there, you know what I mean? Uh, this Vegito is going to be hitting hella hard once he's fully done but uh yeah make sure you guys do those stages so let me just quickly recap the two stages for you guys so area 23 stage 8 that's what all the fights with the cybermen and everything and area 24 stage 7 yeah so good luck to you guys doing your actual grind obviously if you enjoyed today's doll combat video make sure you leave me a like if you're new to the channel, what are you doing? Go ahead and subscribe, check out some more of my Dokkan Battle content. And don't forget, check out the link in the description below for the merch. Hoodies, all that cool stuff, all that great stuff. Check it out, there's a shop. And hey, support me, get yourself something nice. As always guys, thank you very much for tuning in. Don't forget, Invective is the name and Dokkan's the game. I'll see you guys on the next Dokkan Battle video. Peace out.